Today's video is going to be one of the most notorious story out of Nigeria. Before watching this video, ensure you have a popcorn. Viewer discretion is advised as this video contains violence and crime. Lawrence Anini was one of the most notorious criminals in the history of Nigeria. He was born on the August 28, 1960, in a Biaro village in Owan East local government area of Edo State, Nigeria. Anini was known for his criminal activities, which included armed robbery, kidnapping, and murder. He was a feared criminal who terrorized the city of Benin and its environment during the 1980s. Anini was not born into a wealthy family. His father was a farmer and his mother was a petty trader. Anini was the last of seven children. He had to drop out of school due to financial constraints and join a group of petty thieves who operated in the streets of Benin City. It was during this time that Anini developed his criminal skills and started to operate on his own. In 1984, Anini joined forces with notorious criminal named Monde Osumbo. Together, they formed a gang that became known as the Anini Boys. The Anini Boys were responsible for several high-profile robberies in Benin City, including the robbery of the Delta Bank in Sambogida Ora, the Nigerian Motor Industries in Benin City, and the robbery of the Owo Expressway in Ondo State. Anini became a household name in Nigeria in 1986, when he embarked on a reign of terror that lasted for several months. During this time, Anini and his gang carried out several series of high-profile robberies and murders that shook the entire nation. They were responsible for the murder of several policemen, including the killing of a police officer named James Oyake. Anini and his gang also kidnapped several people and demanded large sums of money as ransom. The Nigerian police was under intense pressure to capture Anini and his gang. The then military head of state, General Ibrahim Babangida, declared a state of emergency in the Bede state and ordered the police to do everything possible to capture Anini and his gang. The police responded by launching a massive man hunt for Anini and his accomplices. The police eventually captured Anini and several members of his gang on the 3rd of December 1986 after a long and intensive man hunt. Anini was captured in Lagos while trying to escape to the Republic of Benin. He was brought back to Benin City where he was put under trial for his crimes. The trial of Anini was one of the most high profile trials in the history of Nigeria. Anini was charged with several crimes including armed robbery, murder, kidnapping. The trial lasted for several months and Anini was eventually found guilty of all the charges against him He was sentenced to death by hanging. Anini's capture and trial were seen as a major victory for the Nigerian police force. It was a clear message that the government was determined to crack down on crimes and restore law and order in the country. Anini's capture also led to the arrest of several other criminals who were involved in this part of robberies and murder that has plagued the city of Benin and its environment. The story of Lawrence Anini is one of the most remarkable stories in the history of Nigeria. Anini was a man who started from humble beginnings but became one of the most feared criminals in Nigeria. He was able to carry out his criminal activities for several years before he was eventually caught and brought to justice. Anini's story is also a lesson for the Nigerian government and its citizens. The story highlights the need for the government to do more to create opportunities for young people to be able to thrive and succeed. Anini's story also highlights the need for the government to invest in law enforcement agencies and provide them with necessary resources to fight. A lesson many think the Nigerian government hasn't learned till date. Thank you for watching the video and I'll see you another time.